All right, guys, so let me show you what I have right now. And I have really, really good news. And the great news is that I got Visual Effects Craft to work on my Mac. I, I finally figured out why it wasn't working. And that's one of the things that I'm going to show you in this video. So if you're running Visual Effects Craft in Magic Leap, make sure that you're using Unity 2018.3.0v7. Of course, this is just going to be for prototyping. I don't recommend that you try this in production, but if you want to try the graph and also use a Mac, then you can do what I'm gonna what I'm gonna show you. So you need to make sure that you are running in metal, otherwise the particles are not gonna render. So you're gonna go to File and then Build Settings. Then you're gonna go into Player Settings, and then make sure that the Lumin platform is the one that is selected, and then you switch to the platform. So that's gonna be the first thing. And that's something that you probably normally do because we're, we're developing for Magic Leap. And then the next thing that I that I need you to do is go into the Magic Leap icon right here. And then make sure that you have the OpenGL core selected. And then the second one is going to be the OpenGL ES3. And then the, the one that is going to do the trick if you go to PC, Mac, and Linux, because we're running in Mac right now, if you want to see the particles, you're going to have to have Metal as the first one. Normally it's OpenGL Core, so I recommend that you have Metal as the selected option because that's what a, the, the visual effects graph is going to require. So that is going to allow you to see something closer to looking at particles, but it's not going to render the particles. And, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you why the particles are not going to render. They're actually going to render, but they're not going to render correctly. And I'm going to show you that. So if I go to my outer object, which is going to be the object that you're seeing on the outside, and I double click on the graph to open it up, I'm going to show you a couple of things in here that I had to do. And I'm going to be creating a placeholder for you to, to try it out. And this is, this is going to be uploaded like this to, to get help so you guys can use it. But one of the things that I had issues with is on the quad output. For some reason, when this runs in metal, it doesn't render correctly if you have this set to none. This is how the particles were rendering by default. But if I look at that in Windows, and I'm going to show you a screenshot, an actual video of this running in Windows with that set to none. So if I go to my desktop and I look at the demo, this is actually running in Windows and it's rendering correctly. So I don't know why, but the particles don't really care about having a texture set. So in order for me to see the textures correctly, I just place basically the UI mask which is one of the components that, one of the textures that is in this project. And then I did the same thing with the, the outside, which is the outer object, and also the inside object. If I go to the inner object, and I double click on that visual effects graph, you're going to see that I also have that selected on the quad output. I have my UI mask, and therefore the colors are rendering correctly. So now let's go into this video and show you how we can generate something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my outer. And I'm just going to be focusing on the outer because the inside I already covered in a previous video. So this is what I have right now. On this point, I have it set to 10,000. Initialized particle capacity, I have it set to 500,000. I normally tell people to start with that number. You can start even lower than that number. But for Magic Leap, that's the number that worked for me. On the set lifetime random uniform, I have A set to 2. And B, I have it set to 33.6. And that gave me a really cool look. And then the the idea of getting a lot of lines like this, you can kind of see that we're getting a circle and then the lines are getting curved. That's because I'm using the position sequential circle. So make sure that you add that. If I wouldn't have that and I uncheck it, you're not going to see anything. You're just going to see lines in the middle. And in order for it to, to see it to be placed correctly, you're going to have to enable this component or add that, add that component. If you want to add a different type of position, you can just hit space here go into position and then just try another one. I've been trying multiple. And this is the one that I really like how it look. I set it to a thousand. You can set it to a lower number if you like. I, I wanted to see a lot of lines and you can see how we're now getting only two lines. If I go to, let's go ahead and go to 500. We're going to get a little bit more lines. But I think 1000 was a number that I like how it looked the most. So I went with 1000. I also set the the negative position, the Y position to negative 10, and then the radius, I set it to 0.86. You can also lower this if you want the radius to be much smaller. You can see how it's way, way smaller, or I can undo it, and then it's going to be, you know, much bigger now. The other thing that I also have in here is I have a Conforto Sphere, 
And that's the sphere that you can see right here. I have the center set to the origin, the radius set to a lower number, attraction speed. So some of these settings I just play around. I'm not going to tell you those are right or wrong. They're just different settings. And I'm al I also have a turbulence node. And I'm animating over five seconds the range of the drag from a negative number to a positive number. And again, you can look at these in, in my repo. I'm not going to cover a lot of these because it, honestly, a lot of these comes from tweaking and testing and and you know getting the look that you want like if i increment the intensity you're gonna get something crazy if i lower it down it's just you know playing with the playing with these visual effects and then finding the you know finding the effect that you like and then on the quad output i have a gradient map and i have a gradient that i set which is a red white and then yellow and then like i said on the main texture make sure that you select the texture in this case i'm selecting the ui mask and that's where you can see the colors coming through and I'm also setting the size of the particles to, to be a very, very low number, especially because we're running in AR, and AR is in meters, so make sure that you're using a small numbers there. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to be jumping and running this on my device. So let me show you that next and show you how it looks on the device. So you can see that the particles are rendering. We get the same style that we're getting in Unity. And it's a little hard to see because it's a screen recording, but it actually looks really amazing when you're running this on a device. If I make it smaller, I think we'll get better resolution. And if I stop right here, you can see that the lines are coming across just perfectly. Also, these other rays, which is which are the ones that are inside, also coming really, really good. And then I'm just looking around here just to see the sequential positioning that I show you on the beginning of the video so that's everything that i wanted to show you guys if you guys have any questions please let me know all right guys thank you very much for watching this video with magic leap and visual effects craft if you guys have any questions about anything that i mentioned please let me know in the comments also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources from game developers and also find me in patreon.com where i'm basically posting what i'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code thank you very much guys